Hey guys, welcome back, Maris here, and we have Outer Worlds still, and today I want to talk about skills and I want to show you something really important and just so your gameplay can be better, alright? You can do... you can drop skill points in the game as well, but well, you need to see whole picture, what game provides, that's why I'm here and that's why let's look at the I was wrong about one thing, but right about other thing, okay? So let's start with the good part. Um, as you can see, I have uh, maxed out. This is the basically, if you go full on full skill um, tiers, like 100 points, you can have four, that's absolute maximum, all right? And you can see, it's, I took the um, average. This is when you have, ah, when everything is good, Right, you start with 12 points in every one, in, in every skill, and this stealth and leadership basically is where I uh, added 10 extra in each, right? So you can see I have managed to max out three of them here, then fourth went here, and a little bit I missed, I still need for determination, so to have five. Uh, I think if I, if you, take down um, what it was strength right and think smartly how where you put your points in, in terms of you can probably squeeze out five but then there will be just two two threes there's no other way how you can push it but anyways just want to make sure it in normal normal kind of gameplay playthrough that there will be most likely four of them and it's it's not ideal as well because you see I don't have any other freaking tier in none of them. It's it's not something you would go go for, anyways, right? So where I was wrong is I don't have you don't have 300 points because you start at level first and so basically you miss out those 10 points right away. You don't have 300. You will have at the end of the game with max level. This is level 30. Is that's the point you can have and that's the distribution you, you you can have and as you can see as i said i put in stealth and leadership because i thought i will be play with um company on spot that's cho choice for you so let me show you something um something i would advise at the beginning right just just let's let's let me suggest you a tree a building tree for playthrough okay First things first, when you start the game, and I also suggested in, in my video, is to put at least 20 points in every of the trees. Why? Because all of them unlocks first tier, right? These are the tiers, and they are really valuable. It, it's just this this swing, this, this melee without this power attack, it's, it's really crappy. Here, none of the... Uh, shooting weapons will have effects when you shoot in the head so this is really important then about the fence there we can there's discussions but um, the sleep counts as something you would probably want blocking maybe so anyways most important part is is coming down here that is hacking where you can sell at vending machines this is important then um lockpick actually not so much but uh, science to improve weapons then engineering to repair them and demolish like destroy here without this skill point you don't have companions your companions will not have their special attacks i'd say those special attacks are really important so anyways let's let's so you see we already down to 40 points to just get first one so my suggestion would be, in my opinion, must have is at least here you go for the second tier, because here you, when you break down weapons, you will have basic mods, just basic, not rare, but basic mods, which means you can have nice weapons in the game, all right? In the same time, here, tinkering cost goes down. Tinkering is, there, there will be a lot of money put in tinkering, trust me in that that's upgrading weapon and every next upgrade costs twice as much. So you start with little 
end up in thousands just ditching in one weapon in one level upgrade. So this is huge. Medical, not so much. Then we move to stealth. For stealth, I would suggest to put again at least 40 because this is you get more money out of container, simple as that, through the game. So you need to worry less about money. Um, this also hack gives you extra cool things in vending machines, right? So you can purchase casual, normal things and these, let's call them rare, okay? As you have more money, that's good to know, good to have. This stealing from human pockets, I actually, I, I used it quite a lot to be, to be fair, okay? <laughs> and um, uh, let's build up. And then I would go probably, not probably, but most likely for guns. There is no, only if you have specific need or want to build melee build, there's no need for melee weapons. You have three different types of ammunition. You can use guns, gun, guns are awesome, guns are, yeah, I, I, I go with guns. So uh, you see the first, mm, not the first, but uh, what the second tier gives is critical damage. And critical damage is something you will have, well, by the critical chance. So having this extra 20 points actually improves your, your ranged attack by a lot. Where else I would go with more points? With dialogue is something interesting. These tiers, in my opinion, are shit. The first tier is fine, but the second are shit. Why you want dialogue? I'll go with 50, to be fair. Because this skill is needed when you reply in, in, when, in dialogue options, when, the, I don't know, someone is being pushy or, or asks you something, you can lie. And for every dialogue will need precise uh, skill point. And to explain it simple, like at the beginning in the game, you can lie to some, or intimidate for that matter. You can, you need skill one. At the end of the game, in the last dialogues, you need 100. So <laughs> putting 50 points may, gives you a chance through half of the game when there will be an option to bypass something or something to persuade or lie or intimidate you will have this chance this is something for game let's say for playing the game and for that matter that's why i would also put i suggest you to put in stealth because Hacks and lockpicks work in the same way. The first lockpick you will encounter will have level one. At the end, late last, last doors to the boss. No spoilers, just figurative, figuratively speaking, will have 100, all right? So 50 will grant you a chance to at least half through the game, you, you will have no problems with hacking and lockpicking, all right? Why I'm not going beyond that? Because further points are one point in, in just one specific tree. So far, we went with fully 50. And um, engineering, there is no such need. Science, is, there's no such need. Medical, there is no such need. In terms of these points, you can leave with 40. There is no engineering. There will be no um, dialogue option to, I don't know, in, in one of the 20 dialogues where someone says something you can have engineering skill, let's say, let's say 50 and say, no, but wait, this generator belongs there. It's, it's rarely, it's, it's basically a waste of points, but there's always, but, all right. So this distribution, I would say for every game, for every build, because everyone will encounter the same hacks, lockpicks, everyone will have same thinkering engineering needed everyone every build will have well this this dialogue would be opening up extra options all right and everyone will be shooting enemies so yeah this is basically and you see we have almost just half of the points left and now if we are going deep into specialization probably most likely 
I am increasing only to 50 so we can have 100. And this is the basically why are you watching this video? This is something myself play, played through without spoiling you anything, but explaining the logical thinking behind it. I will uh, basically give you an idea um, how you can experience best out of the game. All right, you can always do your own thing. I don't know, put everything in melee weapons and don't put points at all. Just run through whole game without putting any point. It's, all right, but um, let me explain in a moment. As you can see, I'm maxing out. maxing out three of the skill points at this moment there is an uh, there's a level thing right if you are shooting with guns obviously in the same time you're not hitting with melee so when you are hitting with melee then you don't use guns so one cancels out others so here melee is absolutely not needed right so that's where i get my points and i can finalize my build at this moment right perfectly um, explanation simple if you look at the tiers in thinker in science that there let's say there was an option medical is pure shit um, science or engineering let's say engineering only thing here where probably you would want to go is this pristine and advanced rare mods when you break down all right those rare mods you can buy from vending machines. So if you have enough money, this cancels out. This is not needed. This is gone. And you make money by breaking down and selling basic mods. So this can be substituted with other parts of the game. So damage with auto mechanics is nice bonus, but worth spending so much points? In my opinion, no. In science, from other hand, we have already reduced thinking cost. We can tinker weapons and armor, then reduce tinkering cost. Corrosion damage, actually, that would make also corrosion pretty good skill, but that's not what we are going for. But tinkering cost reduced for science weapons is ta capped. No, also shit. Those science weapons do <clears throat> just, just, you will test them out. But look at the last point, further reduced tinkering cost to minus 90% I will give you an example when you upgrade your weapons it starts with 54 bucks uh, goes up 100 200 400 thousand I always basically stop when I have next upgrade 5000 with this perk that would be only five not 5000 but 500 bits by logically thinking that would immensely make me easier for upgrading weapons and sticking with high level weapons and have no problems. And in the same time, this is another way how you save hundreds, thousands of money. I don't know what the money is called, bit, bit something. And that you can spend on purchasing this engineering um, rare mods, for example. Right. So in my opinion, from this tech tree, science is something just if you want to go full, I can vouch for it. Science weapons, shock, da shock damage, plasma damage by default is increased. All right. This is really good skill point to invest to go full, full blown. Then let's look at the stealth tree. Stealth tree is something, uh, obviously, if you're doing your own um, silent sneak build, you would you will go with 100. Fair enough, all right? But uh, in this tree, you're looking either hacking, either lockpicking, because both of them, it's similar as, as at some part, at some point uh, as, as followed. You have a doors, so you can pick lock them, lock pick them, lock pick, pick lock, or you can hack in a computer and sometimes open those doors, right? So you don't necessarily need both of them, but to fully get access everything, of course, you need both of them, 100%. But again, there is a choice. My, my personal approach here is simple. If I'm correct, then for example, uh, there are more lockpicks. 
there are more boxes, doors that you can pick lock and get through them and, and get loot than there are hacking abilities that change gameplay. Because there are there are some hackings needed. For example, you, you open a computer and there's like personal files, but they are protected. So you hack them and you read one more line. It will not change any way questing. It will not change any further development in, in if, maybe one or two cases in the game. But overall, this hacking was kind of... I would don't go with hacking, okay? Because if you look at the, also the hacking, the... You can hack auto me mechanics, auto mechanic detection range, auto um, hack auto, me auto mechanicals distance. It's, it's, it's just that shit. These tiers are shit. You would increase hacking only because you need hundred to unlock the the latest uh, computers in the game. From other hand, lock picking, as I said, now with this option you can open every door in the game every box you get every loot simple as that but beyond that look at this what you can see you can see already what's in the containers that's not needed you will you will be looting anyways everything so <laughs> that's nice to have but this lockpick speed is increased that's something really awesome why because especially when you loot somewhere where you have friendlies around and basically that's a stealing they are patrolling or something and while guard is turning around you need to pick up that box and that box normally takes quite a long time it's it's up to four or five seconds and that's a lot and they will notice you and you will get in trouble with this little awesome tier you basically immediately pick up every lock in the game once you receive it but not only that Find pristine item chance is increased by, well, double, double the chance. And pristine items are something that you can sell. They have better, um, attrib not attributes, but um, how it's called. They're worth, they're, they're worth more, okay? Let's, let's put it in this way. You will find precisely the definition in codex, what pristine means. Anyways, there are more in these tiers are again bonuses to the bonus that you can pick lock everything all right so that would be my obvious choice for everyone let's say and then the rest of the points you can spread and why we went for this is also that's your choice you can uh, instead of uh, persuade go to lie or intimidate why because as i said also in my main tips and tricks video in every dialogue option like 90 percent of them Whenever you get an obstacle, you have all three choices presented. And you need only one to bypass that. When guard catches you or asks, what the fuck are you doing here? There is a way that you can, oh, I'm, I'm the new guard. I, I need to be here. Or you can just lie. Well, fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm the general of this, I don't know, security. Fuck off. Or you can just say, I want to, I will beat you. But in any case, you will bypass by just having one of the skills. And this is, again, this is similar as lockpick. Uh, you can in this instead take lie and lie through the game and, and, and bypass all those dialogue obstacles. So this is another way how it, it will open different types of doors in the game, all right? So those three points would be absolutely necessarily needed. And then we have quite some good um, spend here. I will go one extra step. I think. No, I will not. Nope, nope, I will not. One extra step would be if you're confident enemies will not get near to you, you don't need block and dodge. You can put those points because you have exactly eight points so you can, can unlock Probably I would go something like this. So in case you want to make this sweet, sweet power attack or silent bash in the head or something, you can go like this, all right? So this would be absolute app optimal build. Of course, this is, this is keeping in mind we are not focusing on companions, right? And this is us trying to get tinkering maximum and also us getting through every door and getting away with every every dialogue all right 
So keeping those in mind and in the same time doing some sweet, sweet damage. Uh, another thing, probably if, if you don't want to go dialogue, you can entirely skip this part. Well, you will be, you will have troubles in dialogues, but hear me out. Why I don't like dialogue option? Because you see, when you put points in here, uh, these ranged abilities, they increase. They increase also long gun critical chance quite a lot and long gun sway. When you go, let's say the same tech tree, you see, they increase an, by default stats, some kind of stat, and then also giving you tears. When you look at dialogue, there is there is no stand. The, the dialogue options are only for getting away with dialogues and these little bonuses. But overall, yeah, you can skip. So in this way, we took away. So it means we have exactly 88 points that frees up to fully update one defense or, or one more hacking. Or if you want to um, go with companions, Let's go with companions. It already you can see we are upgrading, so our companions will have more armor and critical damage and more health and more damage in total. So quite a lot of bonuses, right? Maybe better than dialogue. And then let's go with tanky ones. Just because if you look at the tier point as well, and the tier um, skill, skill, skill tiers. When companions kill enemy, they gain half of the health. That will definitely help you avoid getting them killed. If you're playing a supernova, your companions can be killed. So yeah, if you attack a bunch of enemies and you specifically direct them to one enemy, then another, then another, after every kill you will get sweet sweet health back. And when they are downed, party gets armor rating and damage. And it's like it's up to up for you to choose. But what is important? Is I want you to understand that you start game and you finish game with 290 points only my problem with this is only because in total in total there are 1800 points you can spend in we have already advanced from 12 but you get the point what I want to bypass so whenever you play Think like if you start like me, put in the same tech so you can start upgrading and everything. Then you have already stealth story. So let's go with the same dialogue option at least 20. At least at the beginning, you can get through it. Then, obviously, ranged, you will start killing them right away. And well, I will, I will now basically put back the points where I put them in the first place. So yeah, I hope you learn something and when you go through the game, you will, I don't know, you will have an option for yourself and think through because every time you reset the points and, and put them back, it will cost more and more. So that's another, basically, the game is taking your points away. You don't need that. If you have your plan, if you start the game with already understanding what you will have and how much points and where to go, where you want to go, for example, by watching this video, you don't need to respect at all and cost, yeah, it costs you nothing. Right, that, that, this, then, I don't like, I will never pick a lie, I never, I think, took a lie, and intimidate as well sounds something bad guys will do, right? I'm not like a bad guy. Let's put in defense. Funk nearly. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this additional explanation. Okay, one last bonus thing because you are actually patient and looked through all the video is I will give you an idea. Not idea, but hear me out. For you to pick lock a door where 100 is needed you can actually count in additional bonus, right? Let's say not lockpick, but let's say ha hacking. If you want to make sure you can go through and hack every computer in the game, it's enough 
if you have 90, then you take company on with you. There's one company on giving you plus 10 hacking if you picked uh, the perk. So you see, it's you will lose out last year, but you will still access every lockpick, every hack, every computer. For lockpicks, there is no company on giving this bonus, but there's a gear that improves your lockpicking skill, which actually I think was for hacking. So you can play around with your armor and your companions to still be able to hack, lockpick, intimidate, I think lie, and not put 100 points, but only 90 points, all right? That's a little bonus, but to be fair, uh, here in science, for example, missing out this last year is just, this last year is, I think is, it just changes all the economics and, and money spending in the whole game. Okay, thanks for watching, clicking like and sharing with anyone who is thinking about playing this game is definitely uh, highly advisable. <laughs> and if you have any questions, why or how, or I don't know, anything and I will make one more actually for perks because perks is another huge part and then basically this game is covered from my side you will know everything you need to know to be expert go in there make your character exactly how you want and how you need to do it <laughs> all right all right thanks guys for watching this was Maris we'll meet in next video